Keep going. Okay. What? I don't know what you're saying. <laughs> what? Wrap it in. Oh, okay. Hey, happy campers. It is Savannah with Cookville RV and Marine. And today we're going to be taking an inside and outside look at this 2024 Cougar 25 RDS. But before we get started, make sure you like this video, subscribe to our channel, and click that bell notification because we have a lot more 2024s rolling out and you want to make sure that you're seeing all of these videos. And there are a couple changes to this 2024. One of the main things we're noticing is out on this exterior, they've lightened up the color, just made everything a little bit brighter, a little bit better this year. Now, let's take a look at some of the other changes, starting with the outside entertainment space. As you can see out here on the outside, they have brought that lighter coloring all the way down onto the side of the camper. It is very gorgeous, just really bright looking out here. We also have our typical dual entry doors. This door enters into your bedroom and the door down here goes into your living space area. And we have our typical awning out here, offers a little bit of shade for when you're outdoors. And when you're outdoors, you can also listen to your music with our indoor outdoor speaker system. Play your music both inside and outside when you're out having a party with your friends and family. We also have our LED light strips spanning all the way down the camper, just offering a little bit more light when you're outdoors. Now, let's take a look at that storage space. Located in the front of the camper, we have our pass-through storage space. There is plenty of space in here to store anything you think you might want to take along to the campground with you. You have your typical easy to wipe down surface in here. If things get a little messy from being outdoors, you can easily just clean that out, which is very nice. Also on the other side, we do have some hookups and some other things you're going to need at the campground, including your battery disconnect. On the other side, that door is a little bit smaller, but it is easy to lock. You can stow your stuff down here, lock it on the other side. And right next to that door, we do have our tankless water heater and our docking station. Now let's take a look at the inside. As soon as you walk into the camper, you have your in-command touchscreen control center. From here, you can control your HVAC, your lights, your one slide, and your awning. Anything you think you're gonna want in your camper or you need to control is right here on this control panel. It is touch screen, very user friendly and easy to use. Now, let's check out the dinette. In the back of the camper, you have your massive U-shaped dinette. Back here, there is plenty of space for all of your friends and your family. If you wanna share a meal with everybody at the campground, you're gonna have plenty of space back here to do that. This also doubles as a sleeping space. So this is actually called an easy up table with one swift motion, you can put it down or pop it back up for your meal. And it offers you another sleeping space for your friends and family. And there are a couple changes to this 2024 unit back here in the dinette. One of the first things we notice is this table. I think it is a little bit bigger than last year's table. And the color seems a little bit more just gray and lighter in here, which I do love. Over here in the one side of the camper, we do have our theater seating. These seats are so comfortable and we have some controls down here that let you control everything with these seats, including the feet that pop right out, let you lay back and enjoy a movie in your camper. We also have some storage right here. You can put your remotes, maybe a charging cord. And over here, we do have our light switch that controls these lights. And there's a dimmer switch, so if you do want a little bit lower of light setting while you're back here, you have that as well. Also, we have our refrigerator right here. It is a nice Furion fridge, but sometimes that changes from camper to camper, so make sure you look at that when you're buying. We have plenty of storage space in this fridge. I don't know if you can see it from there. Let's take a look. We have plenty of room for all of our fruits and veggies, and if you want to throw some popsicles in the freezer, got room to do that as well. We have some cabinets over here, nice light color and handles. Oh my goodness, there's plenty of space in these cabinets. If you want to throw some full-size cereal boxes or maybe even a bag of dog food in the bottom, there's room to do that here. Now, let's check out the rest of the kitchen area. Okay, we're now across from our one slide of the camper in our kitchen space. And as you can tell, there are a few changes in this area this year. One of those changes are we do have new cabinet handles. These handles are a little bit bigger and easier to grab. We also have this gorgeous backsplash. This backsplash is more of a gray tone, so it does pull in that new color of those cabinets over in the dinette area. In the kitchen, we have our sink with retractable head. We have plenty of cabinet space down here. This is huge under the sink. You can fit a trash can or any other cleaning supplies that you want to fit under your sink. Over here, we have 
plenty of countertop space. If you want to have a big meal, you're going to have plenty of room to put all of that stuff. We have our typical three burner stove top, our oven, and our microwave up top. We have a few more drawers over here. You have your keystone bag, perfect little spot for that. We have room for all of our utensils and plates or other things you're gonna want in your kitchen area. Now we're stepping into our entertainment space. This entertainment space is directly across from your theater seating. So if you're wanting to watch a movie or a TV show, you can do that from there. This TV also is on a swivel, so if you're also wanting to view some TV from your U-shaped dinette, you can do that there as well, which is really good. We have our TV, like I said. We have our control panel for our indoor-outdoor speaker system right here. And below that, we have our fireplace that is a light-up fireplace, but offers heating as well for those cold winter months. Now, let's look at the bathroom. Now we're looking at our walk-through bathroom space. This bathroom is super roomy. You could have a couple people in here at one time. Say you're in here getting ready, someone needs to access the bedroom. There's plenty of space to do that and let them walk in and out while you're in here getting ready too. We have cabinet space in here, big cabinet areas, plenty of space for all your toiletries. We have our medicine cabinet with a couple shelves in here to store your things as well. We have a big counter space with an outlet here for all your styling tools. We have our sink and a little window in here if you want a little natural light going. We have more space underneath this cabinet. I don't know if you can see in there but there's a lot of room in here for maybe a trash bag, trash can, some toilet paper, other things you're gonna want in the bathroom. And if we step over here to my left, we have our step to flush toilet. We have a couple hooks up here for your towels, maybe a little robe. And we have a nice size shower with that skylight offering a little bit of extra sunlight in here. We have our removable shower head, perfect for if you're tall, short, or Maybe you want to bring your dog to the campground and wash them off. You can do that here too. Now let's look at the bedroom. In the bedroom, we do have a couple changes back here as well. First thing that I noticed right off the bat is this beautiful shiplap wall behind me. Kind of acts as a headboard space, just really brings this area in. It makes it feel a little bit more homey back here. Also in our storage space up here, last year's model did have a little see-through panel up here. They've upgraded that a little bit just for a more wood grain look up here which is really pretty and they have those new handles in here as well we have storage on both sides and that upper storage i just talked about in the side storage units we do have a rod in there so if you want to hang up some of your clothes you don't want to get them wrinkly you have room to do that in there we have plenty of room to walk around in this bedroom and you do have your entry door back here so you can access this bedroom from the outside as well and back here by the bed we have cubby holes on both sides Plenty of room in there, so you want to bring your CPAP machine along with you. That'll easily slide in there for some storage. And we have USB and outlets back here for your phone, your machine, tablet, anything you want in your bedroom area. If you like this cougar or anything else you've seen in our videos, make sure you give us a call or visit us online at cougarrv.com, where your adventure awaits.